I'm Joe Corkery, and I lead the healthcare and life sciences product team at Google Cloud. When we first started planning for Next, we intended for this talk to be about how healthcare organizations are transforming their businesses using AI and ML. However, since that time, the world, and especially as it relates to healthcare, has seen a completely different type of transformation as a result of COVID-19. With that in mind, we decided to focus this talk more about how Google Cloud is helping organizations respond to COVID-19, leveraging AI and ML, Google Cloud's healthcare and life sciences products, as well as some of the work that our partners are doing. I wanna start by talking through Google Cloud healthcare and life sciences team's mission, which is to create solutions to empower provider, payer, and pharma organizations to transform their business and the delivery of healthcare. Our development efforts to deliver on that mission are primarily organized around four main pillars. Organize, we want to make it easy to ingest, normalize, and join data to unlock the potential of your data. Accessible, we want to support open standards, APIs, interoperability, and discovery to ensure that the data can be made accessible for use. Secure, we lead the industry in security, privacy, and compliance from endpoint to data center. Everything we do here is core to our mission and at the heart of our work. Useful. With secure, accessible, and well-organized data, we aim to help organizations generate insights and new capabilities that advance the quadruple aim of healthcare. The quadruple aim of healthcare is a framework of goals designed to improve the patient experience of care, improve the health of populations, reduce the per capita cost of healthcare, and improve the work experience of clinicians and staff. This useful pillar is especially critical today during the COVID-19 pandemic as organizations seek to understand and take action on a wide range of data available to them. Here's our overall agenda for the session, which we've divided into three distinct parts. In the first session, we will cover the application of AI to COVID forecasting, and we'll be joined by Dr. Thomas Sai, a surgeon and health policy researcher in the Department of Surgery at Brigham and Women's Hospital and in the Department of Health Policy and Management at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health. He is affiliated with the Harvard Global Health Institute, with whom Google Cloud has partnered on the development of the COVID-19 public forecasts. In the second session, we'll dive a bit deeper into how Google Cloud's healthcare-specific product offerings are being used to address COVID-19. Finally, in our last session, we'll highlight work being done by one of our partners, Schrodinger, and how it's being used to combat COVID-19. Let's get started. Now I'd like to welcome Dr. Thomas Sai to share his thoughts on our collaboration to deliver the COVID-19 public forecasts. Thank you, Joe, uh, for that introduction. As Joe said, uh, my name is Tom Sai. I'm a surgeon and assistant professor in health policy and management at the Harvard School of Public Health and a faculty member of the Harvard Global Health Institute. The goal of the Harvard Global Health Institute is to provide actionable data to guide policymaking to improve health in both the United States and the global context. During COVID-19, our efforts have focused around three core areas, developing models of U.S. hospital capacity to help plan for surge capacity to meet the demand of COVID-19 cases, supporting federal and state policymakers in developing testing targets and a contact tracing strategy, and three, providing scientific communication to combat misinformation. We are public health researchers, health policy experts, and clinicians, and we try to bring all those perspectives to bear when informing policy response to urgent healthcare needs such as the COVID-19 pandemic. Over the last few months, we have embarked on a national conversation uh, in conjunction with the Harvard Stafford Center for Ethics and multiple academic groups, think tanks, foundations, and policy groups to create convergence around a key set of metrics for the suppression of COVID-19. This has resulted in our COVID-19 risk level dashboard and test target dashboard uh, on globalepidemics.org. Our goal has been to not just show the underlying risk, but more importantly, tie the community level risk to a corresponding set of public health actions around testing and non-pharmacologic interventions, such as social distancing and even shutdowns. While the dashboard shows us where we are, what it doesn't do is predict what will happen in the future. And because of this, states and even counties are unable to fully prepare for what is to come. If hospitals, policymakers, and public health officials can predict with more reliability future COVID-19 outbreaks, then they could be better prepared. And this is where artificial intelligence and machine learning come into play. 
through AI and machine learning, we can create forecasting models that are able to predict cases, deaths, and other important metrics over the next 14 days at both the U.S. state and county level. And this is where Google Cloud comes in. Cloud AI, in partnership with the Harvard Global Health Institute, has developed a novel COVID-19 forecasting model that is able to predict cases, deaths, and other important metrics such as hospitalizations in the 14-day period at the U.S. state and county level. These forecasts are powered by machine learning informed epidemiological models that continuously learn from underlying public data sets. The forecasts are available free to the public. To generate the COVID-19 public forecasts, Google Cloud researchers developed a novel time series machine learning approach that combines artificial intelligence with a robust epidemiological foundation. By design, this new model is trained on public data and leverages an architecture that allows researchers to dive into the different relationships that the model has learned to better interpret why it makes certain forecasts. One of the challenges of a novel pandemic like COVID-19 is that traditional epidemiological modeling depends on assumptions of certain parameters such as the transmission rate, the incubation period, um, and the uh, risk of mortality. What the AI machine learning approach uh, enables is an opportunity to learn from the data in real time as we're progressing through this pandemic. We hope that these measures not only help the public understand how the model works, but more importantly can enable further innovations in infectious disease modeling. We're calling on public health officials to prioritize data quality and transparency as these underlying data are what informs and enables the AI models to make accurate predictions of healthcare uh, professionals. As these data are public, we hope and end users will use these data to create their own dashboards to guide and inform local decision making. There's a saying that all models are wrong, but some models are useful. The COVID-19 public forecast model is uniquely positioned to provide not just useful information, but more importantly, actionable insights that can be used to help suppress the COVID-19 pandemic. It's been our privilege at the Harvard Global Health Institute to partner with Google Cloud on this uh, very important effort. We look forward to continuing this ongoing collaboration. Thank you, Thomas. I really appreciate you participating in this session. The COVID-19 public forecast model generates a 14-day forecast of the development of COVID-19 in each U.S. state and county. It's intended to be used as one of many signals to help first responders in healthcare, the public sector, and other impacted organizations to be better prepared for what lies ahead. The data is available in BigQuery, where users can interact with it directly and without cost as it is included in the COVID-19 public dataset program that makes a large number of COVID-related datasets freely searchable on BigQuery. The data can also be downloaded directly as a CSV for your analysis and your own tools. Finally, we also created a high-level dashboard view of the data using Google Data Studio, which is what you're seeing here. Let's take a closer look at that dashboard now to get a better understanding of the results. In the COVID-19 public forecast Data Studio dashboard, you will see data projections over the next 14 days for the United States. The forecasts are generated roughly every day and are available for all U.S. states and counties. This dashboard shows historical data side by side with these forecasts. The map view allows you to see which states are expected to have the highest increase in the number of deaths and confirmed cases. You can also quickly navigate between states to view the forecast for each one. Let's pick Arizona. Additional metrics such as hospitalizations, ICU, and ventilator forecasts are also available. For U.S. counties, historical and forecast data is available for cases, deaths, and hospitalizations. You can use the drop-down menu to select one or more counties and view a time series visualization for that county. Let's pick Yuma. Additional data at the county and state level is available in the BigQuery table and CSVs. In addition to our partnership with the Harvard Global Health Institute, we work closely with SADA and HCA Healthcare to make the COVID-19 public forecasts available in the National Response Portal with the goal of ensuring as many people can have access to the data as possible. Many organizations have found value from these types of data, including HCA, as highlighted here by Dr. Edmund Jackson. Our hope is that other organizations will also be able to take this data and use it to plan accordingly to address COVID-19 needs at the hospital level. 
Let's change gears now to focus on Google Cloud's healthcare-specific products and how they're being used to help with the COVID-19 crisis. We just talked about how organizations like HCA Healthcare are benefiting from AI ML for COVID forecasting. Data is what powers these ML models. However, the data plumbing required in healthcare to build those models is challenging and time-consuming. The Google Cloud Healthcare API is designed to make the data plumbing easier, cheaper, and faster to accelerate healthcare data interoperability and enable you to unlock the power of your data to create and or consume AI models, to run large-scale cross-modality analytics, and to build and deploy novel healthcare applications. Let's continue with the COVID theme and walk through an example of how a large provider system was able to quickly gain insights into COVID admissions using the healthcare API. When COVID hit, it exposed a real problem in many provider systems. The disease was moving faster than the data that they were using to make their decisions. Some of the challenges they faced included data latency, where their existing data analytics ran off Epic Clarity exports, which can often be more than 24 hours old data continuity. Regional hospitals and clinics each had their own siloed view of just their own data. And finally, available IT skills. A real lack of local IT staff made rollout of a new technical solution impossible. What they needed was a way to tap into real-time events, and in particular, those that are broadcast on the HL7 v2 message stream. The solution that they developed leveraged the real-time feed by consuming the HL7 v2 message feed directly into the healthcare API, transforming that data into Fire, and then projecting that data into BigQuery for analytics. The data feeds were then combined across regional hospitals and clinics to create a single aggregated data set for the entire system. They were then able to use pre-built Looker dashboards that combine national data with their local data, as well as their own data to gain better insights. Let's dive a bit deeper into the specifics of the solution. The Google Cloud Healthcare API was the key to moving from some time to real-time analytics. We're able to plug into the Rhapsody interface engine and land the HL7 messages directly into the healthcare API message store. We then leveraged our data harmonization suite to transform the HL7 v2 messages into a fire representation in real time. The healthcare API fire store can automatically project the data through to BigQuery and can be visualized using a Looker dashboard. Traditionally, standing up this kind of a solution within the healthcare system would take months, but we needed to act at the speed of COVID, and by using the healthcare API, we were able to do this. The result was that the C-suite had visibility into real-time data about the number of cases, resources, and utilization, and all of this was delivered from start to finish in just three weeks. Before we move on, I want to take a slightly closer look at the architecture behind the solution. The first step in delivering this solution was setting up the cloud environment using the Data Protection Toolkit, which automates the deployment of cloud projects and resources following HIPAA best practices, automating permissions using the principle of least privilege, and setting up log retention. Once patients are admitted, transferred, or discharged, the EHR, or the Electronic Health Record, sends out an HL7 message, which our PubSub adapter listens for, captures, and delivers to the healthcare API HL7 v2 message store. The HL7 v2 data was converted to Fire via transformation pipeline run in Cloud Data Fusion. However, that wasn't the only source of data brought into this solution. We also brought in data from operational systems in CSV format. We worked with the system to create a whistle mapping config to harmonize the data into Fire from these different sources, which were in different schemas, terminologies, and value sets. As a result, both operational and clinical data are harmonized in real time to the Firestore, which then streams data directly into BigQuery so that the Looker dashboards reflect up-to-date information for decision-making. As we discussed on the previous slide, there's a lot of value in the structured data contained in the HL7 messages and the operational data. However, there's a significant amount of value locked up in unstructured data contained in the clinical narrative of the progress notes. Extracting this value requires a different approach. Let's dive a little bit deeper into clinical entity extraction. What you're seeing here is a small part of a typical ICU note. It's very dense. There are lots of unintuitive abbreviations. There's weird punctuation because large sections are often generated by the EHR. And there are two languages here, both English and Latin. But there's often more detail and richness of context buried in the clinical note. 
And that is important to understand and is not available in the structured EHR data. So what can we do about this? The Healthcare Natural Language API, which is coming soon in beta, will help you find, assess, and link the knowledge in your data. In particular, it allows you to extract clinically relevant entities from the text, to understand the relationship between those entities, to understand the context in which those entities appear in the text, as well as to associate those with known ontologies. In addition to the capabilities offered by the Healthcare Natural Language API, the need for custom information extraction models that have high fidelity for healthcare and life sciences applications is significant. AutoML Entity Extraction for Healthcare, which is also coming soon, provides you with the ability to generate high quality custom models for healthcare applications with no coding skills required. Just upload and label the training data, train the model with a simple click, and then deploy that model at scale. A major US health center was seeing patients presenting to them with a wide variety of different symptoms through multiple clinical entry points, including their call centers, chatbots, telemedicine visits, and of course, in-person care. The data that was being collected at these different entry points was not connected together, and there was not an easy way to pull all of this data together to identify common patterns in their population. In response, they decided to kick off a pilot to automate the extraction of clinical information from these unstructured data sources to better make more accurate predictions and better triage their COVID-19 patients. The early results of this effort were promising. They pooled all the disparate data sets together into a single store and also enhanced their chatbots to ask COVID-19 specific questions as well. As a result of their ability to better extract information from multiple sources, they've seen improvements in the accuracy of their diagnoses, as well as a reduction in their time to treat. They're also exploring how this can be used in the future to better identify chronic conditions related to COVID. To close, I want to highlight one of our partners that's working on finding new treatments for COVID-19. Schrodinger is one of those partners. Schrodinger is a drug and material discovery company that has built a platform that uses physics and chemistry principles to create computational models that predict how different substances will interact at the molecular level. These simulations can be run at an enormous scale to assess billions of molecules in silico before selecting candidates to take into the lab. We announced our initial partnership in May when Google Cloud was providing Schrodinger with access to powerful computing capacity to accelerate drug discovery for its commercial partners and its own internal pipeline. However, more recently and in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, Google Cloud is providing Schrodinger with 16 million hours of GPU time through our researcher credit program. And this is to enable computational drug discovery for COVID-19, which if used consecutively would equate to 1,826 years of around-the-clock computing. To accelerate this drug discovery process, Schrodinger has teamed up with Takeda, Novartis, Gilead Sciences, and Wuxi Aptech in a philanthropic initiative to share ideas, resources, and data with the goal of developing novel and viral therapeutics for COVID-19. We're very excited to be able to support this initiative and we wish them the very best of luck. We hope that you found this useful and informative and that this will be helpful for your organization as you combat the COVID-19 crisis. We're now in the final month of NEXT, but we have several healthcare and life science sessions that you might find useful. You can easily find this information linked from the Google Cloud Healthcare and Life Sciences website or from our NEXT homepage. Thank you very much.